And another big story we're following at 5 o'clock. A transgender woman says she was sexually assaulted while incarcerated, refused medical care, and then placed in solitary confinement because of her gender identity. She's now suing the state, alleging her constitutional rights were violated. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren has been on this story from the start, live in East Baltimore tonight, where one of the facilities are where this alleged mistreatment happened. And Mike, we want to warn our viewers that some of the information in this case is disturbing. Nikki and Rick, it is, but Chelsea Gilliam wants everyone to hear her story. She says she feared she would die here. Her lawyer tells me there's a pattern of abuse among transgender inmates here in Maryland, and the state needs to do more to protect them. I'm filing this lawsuit today because I don't want what happened to me to happen to any other trans woman. Chelsea Gilliam says she was housed with men, leading to a sexual assault, and then placed in solitary confinement simply for being transgender. She spent six months locked up for an assault charge at the Baltimore City Correctional Center and Maryland Reception Diagnostic and Classification Center, both run by the state, both in East Baltimore. I would say that I was treated like an animal, but it was worse than that. People love and respect their animals. I was treated like an alien from the moment that I entered Baltimore City Corrections by inmates and staff. Gilliam says she was denied hormone treatment and eventually left in a cell for 23 hours a day. Her lawyer alleges the state violated her constitutional right against cruel and unusual punishment. Shackled at the wrists, ankles, and waist every time she left the cell. DPSCS violated its own rules for the treatment of transgender inmates, and Ms. Gilliam suffered the consequences. The Department of Public Safety has not responded to WJZ's request for comment. This is not the first time the agency has come under fire for treatment of transgender inmates. In 2019, Amber Cantor alleged an officer placed her in a chokehold, dragged her through central booking, and dropped her on her face, leaving her with no immediate medical treatment. She says it was in retaliation for her complaints about how trans inmates were treated. And last month, the General Assembly heard from those who say they were victimized. They demanded the state house inmates consistent with their gender identity. He proceeded to sexually assault me every single day. Um, I, I have PTSD from this. Um, I was in solitary confinement. Gilliam hopes her lawsuit will force the correctional system in Maryland to change. They don't have to like us. They don't have to respect us but they don't get to disrespect us and discard our whole existence. And after asking throughout the day, just moments ago, we did receive a statement from the Department of Public Safety. They say they take seriously and with urgency every incarcerated person's safety and dignity, that they're working with the transgender community and committed to updating their policies. Reporting live in East Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.